Hello, welcome to the Managing Drought in the Southern Plains webinar series. Today is a briefing on the current drought conditions. We also have a full webinar series. Please check our website, southernclimate.org, for more information. This is brought to you by the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program, NOAA, National Integrated Drought Information System, and National Drought Mitigation Center. Here's a look at what's changed in this past week. We've had a lot of rain in the central U.S. that's helped ease the drought in many parts. Nationally, drought is now at its lowest level since last July. There's been improvements in the central plains, but it's looking still pretty bad in New Mexico and Texas. And conditions are setting up to look a lot like summer as we're expecting some warmer, drier conditions across most of the southern plains. This week's drought monitor map still shows a large section of red in the familiar area, uh, especially West Texas, New Mexico, uh, Western Oklahoma, and the Southwest Kansas and Southeast Colorado. It's gotten a lot better up in Nebraska, as we'll see. Here in, in the south, southern region, we see that, that large area of D3 and D4 extreme drought, exceptional drought out in the uh, Oklahoma and Texas panhandles, and a little bit into Western Oklahoma, a lot of easing though off to the Eastern part of the region. Up into the plains, Nebraska has had a lot of improvement in the last several weeks and they're expected to get some more rain, so it's looking good there. But it still remains in place in the bit of Southeast Colorado and Southwest Kansas. As we look into the West, we see that large area of New Mexico extending up into South Colorado and uh, then extending on into the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles that is of uh, critical concern right now. And elsewhere in the west, a little bit of improvement in the northern part, but drought is pretty well entrenched. Here in Oklahoma, you can really see how sharp that difference is. This is a 30-day rainfall across the state, and the pinks and purples are areas generally over about 10 inches, uh, 12 inches, 14, 16 inches over the last month, while areas to the west have gotten just a, a few inches. And when you look at this in terms of percentage of normal precipitation, you can see that sharp division where the blues are areas that have gotten a lot of rain and the reds are areas that have missed out. So even though there's been some rain in the west, it really hasn't been enough to improve the drought conditions. And that extends on into the Texas panhandle and further westward. The, nationally, you can see a large area in the last 14 days to the southwest has missed out. And the blue areas across the Midwest have really benefited from this rainfall, especially up in Montana, actually. Uh, as we look a little further, the pattern looks somewhat similar, but a lot more yellow and reds into Texas and New Mexico, where they did not get too much rainfall this last winter. So they're going into this uh, summer season even further behind. And this is uh, what it looks like near Lamar, Colorado, from a photo, con a photo uh, project we did this recently. And it very much looks like dust bowl conditions with uh, these large dust storms happening on an almost weekly basis out into southeast Colorado and the region around it. Looking ahead, uh, we do see some more precipitation in our area, although this uh, for the southern plains is expected within the next couple of days as a ridge or high pressure system loft builds in. It's going to shut off the precipitation here. Still some uh, more rain coming though across the northern plains in Nebraska and a large track of rainfall with hurricane or with the tropical storm Andrea along the east coast. The next 8 to 14 days you can see the temperatures building up there. Above normal temperatures expecting to be pretty hot and pretty dry as uh, the southwest uh, heats up and then uh, the next three months this is still the Outlook released from last month, a new one will be issued uh, next week, or in two weeks rather, and um, it was expecting hot conditions across most of the country and relatively dry to the west where they mostly need the rain. The seasonal drought outlook, again, this is uh, this has been um, not as recent, but it's uh, showing some improvement on the east side of it, but that persistent pattern across the western part where the drought has been so bad. So please take a look at these and other resources that we have on our SKIP website, southernclimate.org. You can sign up to receive our information about new updates and when we'll be doing webinars. And we uh, invite you to visit our partners as well, drought.gov and the National Drought Mitigation Center, great resources as well. We hope you have a good week and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.